Captain Company has been out of action again with nagging injuries, but his presence and leadership is always felt. We're swapping five minutes, I'll start eating the salad and then he starts cleaning boots. Even with some of the youngest footballers in Manchester. Oh, look over there, we might have some very special guests coming over. Boys, have a sit down for me, sit down. They're going to come over, don't worry. Bob and the magician. Hi, kids. Hi, everyone. You OK? Yeah! Would you like it if they came out and helped you? Yeah! Ah, there we go. Right. I'll give you one skill. It's an easy one for a start. It's called the Cruyff turn. So it's almost you put your standing leg next to the ball, fake as if you're going to shoot, and bring it back behind you. Vinny is probably one of the most intelligent guys that I, that I met in football. So he's a real fighter. I'm proud to have a captain like him because I can't imagine someone else better, to be honest. Vinny, don't tackle, don't tackle Vinny. Huh? He could be a president one day, in fact, because his speeches are so good that he could, he could go for a president. <laughs> hey, big cheer. The best player on the pitch was Vincent Company as he got man of the match. Vincent, Vincent, can you take for him? You will never meet a special, a more special man from Manchester than that guy there. He's a legend, without a shadow of a doubt. That is Man City all over. What a guy. I've just found out I'm getting interviewed by some kids. Hey, thank you. How old are they? It's a range from 5 to 11, I believe. They're all getting to skip school as well. I was like, I'd be talking to my children there. <laughs> Hi, kids, you're all right? You good? <laughs> you can stop singing. <laughs> Who wants to be a journalist? Later, no one. Who wants to be a footballer? <laughs> See? It's the better side of the job here. Hi, I'm Isabel. What kind of changes have you seen in the nine years you've been at City? I'll tell you what, um, the first thing is the training ground. Like you can see, this is a very nice place. When I signed for City, it was a bit different. You know, it's like uh, if, you, if you wanted to go and do a bit of boxing in the gym, you had to do it with one glove, because we only had one glove in the gym. Um, if you wanted to go to the toilet, it was sometimes difficult because, you know, the door was, was there's no door on the toilet. This is a bit awkward. And that was City when I signed nine years ago. And if you look at it today, uh, you know, there's, there's doors on every toilet. We've got plenty of gloves. So um, it's a bit of a different club now. But still the same people, you know, and that's nice. If you could spend the day with anybody, past or present, who would it be? Again, this. Uh, it, it'd be Nelson, Nelson Mandela. You guys know him? Yeah. No. No, you don't? Well, you should. You should. Hold on a second. Very important, you know, personality. And the reason why is because it, here is this guy, you know, and I can teach you one thing about it. You know, we, we're all lucky to have a great life, no matter how much we come from difficult backgrounds or, or easy backgrounds, you know, but, but this guy had it really difficult, so he went to jail for almost 30 years for a crime he didn't commit. And he was, he was not guilty and he was in jail for 30 years just because he wanted to protect his people and he wanted to help his people have a better life. And then he came out of jail and rather than be really angry at the people that put him in jail, he actually uh, forgive them. And, and that's why he's an important person because he's done something that most of us would not be able to do, okay? So you've learned a bit about Mandela, which is important, guys. What was the crime? His crime was being black. Just come over here. When I was a kid, I really, really didn't like school. I didn't like going to school and I didn't like doing my homework. But the thing is, when you get a little bit older and you have a dream and you want to achieve something, uh, sometimes it's just nice to hang in there and, uh, and to give yourself the opportunity. So I carried on with my studies afterwards. Where I come from, it's not really uh, an area where a lot of people are successful. So I never really saw myself as being successful, you know. I, I think what makes the difference is if you are able to always enjoy what you do and if you feel like spending a lot of time at doing something makes you happy, then you can be 
the absolute best that there has ever been. And, and football was a, the kind of thing for me, luckily, that worked out that way. Come on, Goldberg. Kids are honest. They like you, they don't like you, they know you, they don't know you, but you know, they give you, they give you the real thing and it's nice.